hey there today i have a haberdash unboxing for you so this is actually i just checked my 11th haberdash and you know i really do like this service although i also do the infinitely loft service which works pretty much the same and the way it works is you get a box of three items at a time and you can turn it around for as many times as you want during the month but of course it takes about three days for them to prep the box and another three days for them to mail it out but one thing that I just discovered is that you could actually have up to six items at a time because what happens is when you get your box you just go ahead and immediately do the return notify and they'll prep and send out your next box and so that you can have up to six items at a time. I'll put some information in the description box below about how Haverdash works. I'll also put a card up above to my playlist of clothing rental subscription unboxings. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what I got. Okay, so here's what my box looks like inside. So everything is always nicely packaged. And they do have a return mailer to send your items back after you're done wearing them, and it is USPS. Okay, and here's a peek at my bundle. So it looks pretty cute, I think. <laughs> okay, yeah, with Haverdash, actually, it's supposed to be a subscription service geared more towards millennials. But, you know, I think there's still clothes that would be age appropriate for somebody like that's a little older, like myself, because <laughs> I'm actually 53, so I'm not a millennial. And one thing I've noticed, uh, Haberdash does have like a Facebook page, or they've got a couple actually. And when I look at the page, people do kind of like their outfit of the day or their unboxings. And I think it seems like a wider age range than just millennials. So I think that's good. <laughs> oh, and this is, this is kind of random. The company actually sent me a box of swag because um, I, I joined, I think it's like the Haberdash Insiders, and they sent me this water bottle. Oh, and this tote bag <laughs> and some hangers. But yeah, I've been using this water bottle when I go to work and I think it's really good. It's good to stay hydrated. <laughs> okay, but anyway, let's go look at what I got. Okay, so the first item in my box is this top. And this is by BB Dakota. And this is the pleated pink poplin flow blouse size medium and the buyout price is $64.50 the retail of this would be $68 so I guess that's like a 5% discount it's kind of nice they do have an app so I'm, I'm on the app right now so this top does look kind of short and a little bit sheer so I'll probably have to wear a tank top underneath or something but it is pretty cute and now that I know about the golden mean ratio this might be the right length for me. <laughs> Just gotta wear high-waisted jeans. Okay, next. I got this top. Hmm, this might not be good for the golden mean. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll put a card up above to that video on the golden mean ratio, which is using math to determine how to dress the most proportionately, I guess. Okay, so anyway, this top is by Mustard Seed and it's the ruffle sleeve gingham top size medium and it's $47.50. Okay, so for this one, I guess I got a medium, but if you look on the app, my suggested size was actually supposed to be small. And that's one thing with Haberdash, when you do the return notify and you check out, you actually say if you wore the item or you just tried it on and how the fit was. So that way, I guess it feeds their algorithm so that they can suggest the right size for you. Yeah, so I probably should have gotten a small. <laughs> it's okay. okay, and my last item is a pair of jeans. Oh, and these look huge. And these are by Flying Monkey, and they're the Slit Hem Button Fly High Rise Crop Slousen Straight Jean, and I got the size 28, which is my typical size for most jeans. But I did notice that the suggested size for this was, uh, I think it was 26. So these must run big, and I've never tried the brand Flying Monkey before. And the buyout price on this is $59.50, and the retail is $69, so whatever that comes out to. But yeah, these are cute jeans, but I can tell already, these look really big. I mean, and they don't have a lot of stretch. They're the type of like old school jeans, you know? 
that actually have almost like zero stretch. Hmm. Yeah, and maybe I shouldn't have gotten these. <laughs> it only has one review and two out of five stars. Shocks. Let's see what the person said. They said, I was really excited about these jeans and apparently they're a popular brand. I've never heard of this brand before, but they fit way too big and the crotch gathered. Also, material is cheap and not comfy. I didn't end up wearing them. That might be the case for me too. But anyway, we'll give them a try. Okay, so that was everything I got in my haverdash box this week. So now I'm going to go ahead and try everything on and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so here are the BB Dakota top and I paired it with the flying monkey jeans. And actually, I really do like this top. So it is kind of sheer, so I put like a camisole under and I think that works. But it's still, it's kind of like flowy and you see it has this pleating detail. And I just added a long necklace that has a pink stone, so it kind of goes. <laughs> and these jeans, yeah, I think they are a little big. Um, not terrible, but yeah. I, I think these are the kind of jeans, you know, that don't have stretch that as you wear them throughout the day, they'll probably stretch out. So that's probably why they recommended going down to a 26. So this is a 28. So I bet you the 27 would fit just right. And then they're saying 26 because with the stretch, as you wear it, that'll be perfect. So I'm thinking I, what I might do is I might request, maybe not these jeans, but like the same brand, Flying Monkey jeans, in, um, in 26. So, one thing about these jeans, I probably can't wear them to work because they do have like an unfinished hem. And it's kind of interesting, they have a slit, but the slit is on the inside. So I guess that's what makes them, it's kind of a flattering silhouette, except it's too big. But you are able to wear some heels with that, so that'll <laughs> elongate your legs. And yeah, with the shorter top, boom, I'm hitting the golden ratio, which is about 1.6 to 1. Okay, and here is that black and white top. And you know, I kind of like this top, but it is just a little big. And as you can see, I've got a tank top underneath. Hmm. So I probably should have gotten a small. It is kind of long, but what I did was I tied it as tight as it could go, and I tied this into a bow. But I think that looks really cute, actually, with white jeans. You could probably also wear black jeans or maybe some colored jeans because it's just like a black and white on top. And I did pair it with some lighter color sandals just to kind of elongate the legs. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know if I'll wear this. We'll see. I, I don't know if I feel comfortable with the side like this because it is it is kind of big on the sides. I might try to see if I could maybe blend it in. I'll maybe try with a black or a little white. We'll see. But yeah, I think it's cute. Oh, and I added a, a longer necklace. It's a silver Stella and Dot Rebel pendant. Okay, so actually I thought this was a pretty good box. My favorites from this week were, well, this thing. <laughs> I really like this blouse. I mean, I think it's just a really pretty print. And it's kind of different, you know, with the pleating. Even though it was on the shorter side, proportionately, I thought it worked pretty nice with high-waisted jeans. So I probably will wear this this week, but not with these flying monkey jeans. <laughs> which actually I kind of like. I want to try this brand in a different size. So I'm going to try to size down. Maybe I'll just go with the suggested size, which was 26, and request a different pair. And kind of on the fence on this top. I really thought it was cute. I just wasn't sure about the armholes, you know? So we'll see. Yeah, they just a warning, they're really big. Maybe if I had gotten the small, I think it would have been a little better, you know? But we'll see. I could probably make this work somehow. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do the return notify like right after I film this and wear the stuff this week and then they'll be getting my new box ready and so hopefully I'll be able to get my new box by the end of this week so there won't be really a break. So yeah, <laughs> I think that's, that's how it works. And then one thing I think I'm going to do differently is going forward, I'm going to just make sure that I always select the suggested size. The thing with Haberdash, they carry a lot of different brands. 
and each brand will run differently. So some brands run small, some brand, brands run large. That's why it's actually really good that they do have you check out and say how things fit. So that all feeds into their algorithm, I think, so they can suggest the best size for you. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I have for today's video. And now I'm going to call one of my two little friends here who are both enjoying the air conditioning because even though it's October, it's still really hot and humid. So I think I've had Kaya a few times, so we're gonna go with Sammy, who is fast asleep. Wow. Oh. Oof. I swear, I think Sammy has gained weight. I don't know. Either I'm getting weaker or she's getting heavier because she does feel a little on the heavy side. Yeah, Sammy? <laughs> but, but anyway, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of shopping hauls and unboxing videos and maybe some style tips every once in a while. And if you enjoy watching those kind of videos, please, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye. She has some sense.